Okay, I wish I could show you more of the place. But uh, it looks like a very, very western ice city as I expected. This is uh, Elat on the uh, border of Jordan, Israel and Egypt on either side virtually, so right in the corner. Um, I crossed over the border earlier and unfortunately I didn't, I toyed with the idea when I was planning the holiday of going here but uh, I thought probably not and too many stops and so on. And I meant up here because uh, I went to Petra and this was the quickest way across. Um, unfortunately bad weather in uh, Petra as you know if you've been watching this completely flew, bro uh, uh, blew the schedule. Uh, plus there uh, you know, it's a Muslim fr holy day, Friday, so therefore, and it's a Jewish holy day as well, at least the beginning of the Sabbath, so they don't do much either, apparently. And so I'm here, so I didn't get here until 3 or 4 o'clock, I shared a cab, with a, which is a little bit of a stroke of luck, with a Canadian PhD student, I've Googled her, <laughs> named Megan. Unfortunately, even though she had a place here, she was staying with a friend with and was talking to me about maybe taking a flight to Tel Aviv direct which he said was not that much more than taking a bus <sighs> but she didn't ask me to stay over and I can imagine why not I mean I mean, may sound ridiculous to, to you if you're watching this uh, you know a slightly built woman would uh, invite a guy she only just met to stay a, a friend's place with her for the night but it w would have been nice I tell you and it would not for any sexual reasons didn't find her pretty or attractive at all, but uh, but you know, if the situation would have reversed, that I would have done that. She must have seen how tired I was. I ended up doing Petra for a third day, so I think I've kind of exhausted myself over the last five, six days, maybe a week or more, but certainly the last couple. And I'm really shattered. I've got a place and I've paid for it for two days. Uh, I just looked at the Wikipedia entry and it said this is what people do, they will look around for people with backpacks. It's a tourist town, it's, I don't know, does it look like one? I don't know. The beach though, though is down there somewhere, but it's, it's 8 9 o'clock and I'm really tired and I think I just need to... I'm not sure if I'm going to stick around tomorrow or just go to Jerusalem, which is my original plan, but it looks like I'm not going to have, have whatever I do, I'm going to have a maximum of one full day in Jerusalem, you know a maximum of one full day and I don't want to be rushing around on the day when I'm supposed to go back because I'm supposed to be in Tel Aviv anyway and even though that isn't very far <sighs> Why am I rabbiting? Is anybody listening to this? Even though it's not very far I don't want to be running around, I really am in the mood to go home now, you know? I mean we're in the last few days anyway so it's not, I can't really cram that much in If I'd gone on schedule maybe but um, I think I just want to go home, really. So, I mean, even now, I, I'm, you know, part of me wants to get out there and go and see stuff, but I realise I'm too tired, I don't know the place well enough. I don't know where everything is, and i just got to go home and sleep, I think. And tomorrow when I wake up, I'll think about whether I try and stay and do anything today or go straight to Jerusalem. Because if I stay another night here, it is Friday night now, if I stay Saturday night as well, into Sunday, then I have no full days in Jerusalem. I'll just have the Saturday, however long it takes me to get to Jerusalem in the mornings, which seems a bit pointless, you know? To warm uh, my heart, the monkeys on VH1. Been sat there watching to listen to Anglo-American pop hits. This guy didn't have any meat toppings for his pizza, and it was quite expensive, I thought. This is Paddy's Irish pub. Enough to warm the heart of every Irishman, if you ever see this, Terry. Well done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my room um, acquired from a lady who just happened to be at the bus station looking for tourists I suppose, and it isn't really very expensive. I got her down to 200 shekels, some th almost double that, for the two days, but I'm not sure if I want to stay the two days. It's purely I ended up here by accident. I was thinking about staying in Eliat or Aqaba, because they're two towns on either side of the Israeli border. Um, 
on my trip when I was planning it but I didn't really factor it in and now I'm kind of here, I'm in Israel, in Eliad, but, um, and, and it's on the Dead Sea and it's not very far at all but I just I really overdone it the last few days with all that walking and um, um, the cold room and the weather and um, the lack of sleep I caught up on my sleep last night, I think I slept nine hours on and off with you know, a couple of breaks in between but pretty much solid nine hours so it's nice enough, but there's nobody here apart from me, so I really felt very, very lonely. Um, and I should have just gone to a hostel, I should have gone on to Jerusalem. And if, we, if we'd arrived on time, if we'd left at a time that we wanted, and if we had another weather problems, I would be in Jerusalem now, and I've had two solid days there. Now, the way I feel, I could leave today, it wouldn't be a great loss, and go to Jerusalem and, and have one full day there tomorrow, not counting the, in several hours in the morning. But um, I'm really in the mind frame to go home now, you know, I'm, in a, I'm not in the mood to kind of run around cramming stuff in. But I have to go on to Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, because they're close enough to each other that I can think of them, not as one, but as not a problem to get to. It's only like an hour cab ride, so I mean, my flight's 8pm. I allow at least three hours, it's recommended, for check-in due to the extra security, because it's Israel, maybe, so that's... Four hours, five hours for a cab ride, so we'll get there at 3 p.m. in short. So leave at 3 p.m. Uh, so not a big deal. Um, that still gives me a morning to explore Jerusalem, the old city. So maybe I shouldn't knock myself out, but right now I just feel really, really tired. At the same time, really, really isolated. I don't think I've ever felt quite so lonely. And thank God she, she did actually, I was able to get her a Wi-Fi code from her daughter actually he was a security officer, I imagine many people in Israel are security officers and on we go, but I'm, I've really overdone it and it's just been too cold it really has, not here as you can see but in Amman and even here during the night it's cold and I had to persuade her to put that in that's made a difference but uh, I don't know, I'm in two minds, I don't even sure if I want to go out yet I still think I need to rest a little before I handle things, but I think I just want to, it's just not enough time, I think I just want to go on to Jerusalem, it's a five hour bus ride from here, I was toying with getting a plane, but then you won't see anything, um, and it costs significantly more, whatever my friend, my Canadian friend yesterday said, seems to be a lot more, relatively speaking, so there we go, I think I'm just going to go down shortly to the Red Sea, check it out, and then think about whether I do stay the night, tonight here, I paid for and leave in the morning, but the crucial thing is to get there early and see all the remaining stuff because we passed the Dead Sea. The Red Sea is out of this window down there somewhere. And the Dead Sea, of course, is um, where you float. That's some, some way north en route to Jerusalem, which we passed by. But I don't think I've got enough time to squeeze it all in, really, and I don't want to be messing around. Um, you know, I would if I felt in a mind frame to travel. But right now I just need, I'm so tired, really. I'm just all rested, but, you know, aching and so on. And it's just been too hard the last few days, it really has, with a combination of things. Uh, and i got to think about the flight home. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, I'm now on the way to the beach, to the Red, uh, Red Sea. Not the Dead Sea, that's tomorrow, hopefully. I shall. I mean, I have time to actually stop off in see how I feel when I'm, when I'm on route, I think. But that's the Red Sea. Uh, I think um, Jordan's uh, on that side, beyond those mountains, I think. Um, and Egypt over that way, because we're kind of on, on the junction point, this town. More for my benefit than your benefit. This is the name of the street. My benefit than your benefit. Did I say that? Yeah. This is the street I'm, li um, I'm on, so if I forget... Okay, that's what I'm looking for. And the building we're staying in is that tower block. Uh, place there. Quite attractive, but uh, I feel better now that the uh, landlady, if you want a better word, is uh, a bit more talkative and a bit, bit more nice. And I'm also a lot more rested that my legs are aching still. A li little bit less now, strange, you know, I'm walking. But uh, she's going to help out and uh, she's giving me something to eat and no, 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 no. Not too much. It would be nice if I actually had a 
you know, <laughs> some sort of uh, paid provided meals, but I think she has other work to do. But she did give me something and a cup of tea, which was nice. All of which was offered, you know, not asked. Anyway, these are the mountains, I think, of Aqaba. I presume that's what they're called. And uh, now I can see the way to the beach. It's quite simple, really. It's due south. Got my compass here if I move my way. But last night I couldn't... I couldn't figure things out, you know. This looks like a very tidy, exclusive neighbourhood, really. Judging by the look of all these houses on that side, you notice they've all got... rock surroundings and wooden fences. And down here is even more like it. Anyway, I have to go tomorrow. I was thinking about doing it today. But I really still need to rest and I, I really don't see the point in kind of rushing. Uh, I'll still get to see Jerusalem, maybe not as much as I wanted, but I think my main goal now has got to be to be rested. Which I'm almost there. Slightly recovered on my legs. I'm going to see the Red Sea, which is the crucial thing. In fact, arguably I've already seen it. There you go. And the sun is out. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. That's what I was expecting when I came here, but Jordan didn't turn out to be like that. Uh, especially Petra, as you know. Anyway. See what I can do. Okay, again, these aren't houses, but flats. But very nice nonetheless. Blazing sunshine. This is what I was thinking about. It feels like early summer. Um, well, actually, more just to say summer in, uh, in Britain. It certainly looks like it. No clouds at all. Anyway, those are the routes. You can see it says Egypt. Elat, Elat Mountains. This is the town of Elat and the mountains are up there somewhere. Uh, Uvda. There we go. This is so Jewish. Okay, there's the uh, Red Sea. This is some sort of musical Beckham's extravaganza with very Jewish sounding music. And, but also just look at this. This is an English language sign saying check in bicycles which somebody's put upside down and nobody's corrected it. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Women again are very, very pretty. But so Jewish. Also, there's a supermarket right there. And, yep, the daughter of the landlady's security officer, who looks like a soldier. Not that I would uh, know the difference between uniforms much, but I suspect, in fact, I know there's a lot of security officers in Israel, for obvious reasons. And we're not far from the Jordanian border and Egypt borders now, even though they've got diplomatic relations with both those countries, you know. It's obviously a route in for the main uh, logical route in for terrorism or whatever. So like, I'm not kidding not, this supermarket has got, has got an airport style uh, metal scanner on the entrance. Okay, well this is the Red Sea close up. In fact I'm right over it as you can see. Um, I'm, not, I'm outside the swimming limit right now. That's up there and I'm in two minds whether I should chance it or not, you know, because uh, I haven't got any bathers. Well, I've got boxers, which I'll do, I suppose. But more important than that uh, is, you know, leaving my clothes on the shore, even with, within uh, sight of my, is uh, interesting. That's a disadvantage of coming on your own, I suppose. Anyway, I think I'll walk back, see what I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Okay, you can see me, all bare. Alright, uh, the water isn't that warm I and mean, it's cold. I, I always expect you know, places like this, but the only place I've experienced what I consider warm water when I went into the sea was Florida. Now, you can hear the, I assume that's a plane over there. That's uh, the Jordanian flag over there, I think. Well, because that's the uh, east side, and that's got to be Jordan because of just basic geography. So I've been there, that's where I came from. Okay, and over there somewhere is the rest. There's a bunch of black guys over there. I don't know if they're immigrants, they must be immigrants, but they're all together, you know, because none of them are bloody have any white friends. I suspect, also from based on some things I've read, there's a certain amount of racism here still. I don't know if they're Jewish or what, or they're just, because, you know, Jordan as well, they have Filipinos and Indonesians working there in these hostels. It says something about um, the state of their own countries that uh, they want to be an immigrant to Jordan. Anyway, just found out.
just notice a plane fly right over those tail tops, maybe 100 or 200 feet. Local airport. I did look into flying to Jerusalem, but uh, it's a bit more costly, not massively, like maybe the cheapest one is at 40, 50 pound. Plus you've got to go through check-in and all that bollocks. And um, I'm in two minds whether I want to do it, so I'm in, I, 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 will, I, won't, I will miss a lot of stuff you know, from the air that I won't see, so I'm going to drop, get the uh, bus maybe 7 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock, depending on how rested I am tonight. And then I can relax because I'm not very far at all away, away from Tel Aviv which is uh, the airport I'm leaving from. I don't want any mad rush, a five-hour bus r uh, ride on the, on the day I'm going home. It's going to be long enough as it is. Plus, you know, what happens if something goes wrong? You know, there's no way I'm going to make the flight. Anyway, I'm going to go in the uh, ocean, the Red Sea. Hopefully no be mines. I'm wearing my T-shirt and my boxes because um, I'm not happy the way I look anymore. I haven't been for a long time, really. I could change if I just actually decided to work out a bit. But um, I'm not going to let this opportunity go to waste. Got to do it. I'm not going to video it. <laughs> okay? Or maybe I should, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do it. Sunglasses, see? Use them to prop it up a bit. Not bad, eh? First time swimming in years and years and years. Anyway, I think that's all we need. The guards have footage, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> this is what I was talking about earlier. That flew right over me earlier. One of them. Now look how low it is. Landing at the local airport, which must be just going there somewhere. So if I wanted to fly, not very tough at all. Because it's Sunday, Saturday, I'm sorry, um, that's a Jewish uh, kind of holiday. That's the kind of Jewish version of Sunday. Oddly, I always thought Sunday was a Jewish version of Sunday. But these stalls, but my landlady assures me, and these things confirm it. This one says specifically, well, that then does, does it? Oh, never mind. I don't know. That one, I think. Uh, yeah. 
not on a Saturday. It's a glass bottom road ride, it doesn't say how much either. This one is a snorkeling ride. This one's fishing. Parasailing, yes, is it? Anyone can do it, so basically, yeah, it's, you know, you go up in a parachute <laughs> on a tether and then get land on the same boat. Not on a Saturday, oh, it says. Notice? It is quite expensive to eat out here, more so than most places, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't eat out in London, particularly, and not at a proper fancy restaurant, because it's just too pricey for what the food you get, I think. Uh, normally. But, uh, you know, there's a... And of course you have to keep translating in your head, working out how much it is. I know what the exchange rate is, but to do it all the time is not that easy. So, uh, but I think I passed some sweet corn a moment ago. Uh, just roasted sweet corn, you know, to be bought by anybody on a stall. I think it was £2.50, or maybe £3. <laughs> I'll pay a third of that. How much would you get that for in a bloody supermarket? But apparently supermarkets are nice. A reasonably priced if you can get to the bloody security, or at least if I can, because I've got everything on me, you know, passport, bloody wallet, this, that, not sure if I've got anything that's uh, prohibited, hopefully I'll just put it in a bag if I do, but I think I'm just, instead of going out again tonight, because I just want to really rest, because, yeah, I'm going to uh, try and see if I can get some, buy some Israeli version, Israeli cereal, maybe even shreddies, or an equivalent, I'm pretty sure they exist. As long as it's not too pricey. <laughs> might even bring it home if I don't finish it, which is quite likely. That'd be interesting. Well, moderately. Anyway, this is kind of what I came here for. Really, it's what I initially planned this trip for, was this, uh, you know, sun in January. And look at it, it's as good as a British summer, the best British summer, not a single cloud in the sky. And it's not that hot, I'm wearing my jacket. Because I've got all my stuff in it. And a rucksack, and uh, yeah, you can go sunbathing too. I may just lie in the shade. Anyway, vaguely reminiscent of Barry Island. <laughs> vaguely.